comes as a surprise to no one. All of the former UK football players that are in town for the game are ecstatic. Wristbands will also be sold at tonight's game that read hashtag Justice League on them. All proceeds from the wristbands will go to Brian Justice's family. Flurries have been coming down on and off all night, but one thing is for sure, it's freezing out here so much so. The windshield wiper fluid at this gas station, it's completely frozen. Amber Boeing's arrest citation states that she told KSB she gave birth to a baby boy, placed him in a trash bag, and then threw him over the banister of this apartment complex. I found some people who are balling on a budget and even two women who are so brave. They wore Carolina blue and Duke blue here. I mean, it's such a shame, but they did look beautiful. Take a look. Trees and power lines down caused outages for days. If you're in Versailles, you will see things like this. The leftovers of what used to be a big tree, but it was knocked down during the storms a few weeks ago. It was a scary scene here this afternoon as many people inside of this Kroger ran for cover as a man came inside and started shooting. The mayor presented this bench to Bryce's mom tonight. He describes it as a place where she can come and reflect on the life she shared with Bryce while watching kids play a sport Bryce loves so much. This is exactly where the catwalk will be happening in just a little bit. Fans have packed the area. They are so excited to get in the stadium, but we got a behind the scenes look a couple days ago. Take a look. Just a few days ago, the stadium, well, it looked totally different. Building, we had a game on Friday night. Uh, they have been working for 72 hours straight to scrub this entire field and repaint for the Citrus Bowl. Uh, we've had all these banners been put up since Friday night, so they're working basically 24 hour days straight. The Florida Citrus sports team says painting the field is the biggest job and the most difficult one that takes detail, precision, 224 gallons of paint and 15 people. Uh, there's a stencil that's put together when the teams are selected and approved by both teams to make sure we get the proper paint colors to be the appropriate blue for either side. Uh, and then it's just a very meticulous process of edging out all those lines and making sure the lettering is exactly precise. It's a complete flip of the building that takes nearly 100 people to get it done. We've always had two games as long as most of us have been working for Florida Citrus Sports, so that's just part of the nature of you got one down and you move on to the next one without making anybody feel like they're like second fiddle. Now we go to the locker room where chrome helmets with the white UK logo line the wall. And I spy Benny's mouthpiece, all in anticipation of kickoff. But you've got the full white out on Penn State side. You've got all the blue on Kentucky side. So there's going to be uh, quite a few colors going on in the building. We'll have a giant flag on the field at pregame, so you get a little red, white, and blue as well. So it'll be uh, hopefully a Chamber of Commerce day and uh, some memories for a lifetime. All right, since we are so close to game time, People who walked through the doors of City Hall in Berea tonight were divided about the way Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh's accuser was depicted in this Facebook post shared on Councilman Jerry Little's page. I was not offended by it. I really never associated it with sexual abuse. I I'm sad to... Uh, see that people felt that way. Jerry Little says his wife shared the meme and has since apologized. During the meeting, many people said they were disappointed with the tone of the post and they want their elected officials to be held to a higher standard. Peter Hilly is a member of the Berea City Human Rights Commission. We spoke together about the importance of, uh, of bringing the community together and how deep the divisions are. And uh, I don't think there's any easy answers to that. But I told the councilman I would be happy to continue that conversation with him, and I hope we will. As the meeting ended, Councilman Little had a chance to speak. I don't no way, in no way, do I combine, condone the violence or any mistreatment towards women or anyone in that a woman who has lived in Berea for decades idea. wants people to know the social media post and the flap caused by it does not define their community. In general, yes, we do get along very well. Yes, we do have issues that we overlook. We are still a good place. Covering the news in Madison County, Jacqueline Nye, LEX 18 News.
A community pulled together tonight in a time when the people who are hurting need it most. They took us all in like we were part of their family, so we feel the same way back. And so if we lose a member of our family, we want to do anything we can to help. The Moorhead State softball team hosted a home run derby. The friendly competition was all about raising money for Bryce Combs' family and the rescue teams who for days searched tirelessly for his body. But we want to spread like awareness of who he was and the tragedy behind it and we want to raise money for his family because no one should bury their own child. A Moorhead City police officer who hit a few home runs tonight says he was heavily involved in the search for Bryce and was excited when he heard what the softball team was up to. Most of these players are not from here um, but they are kind of adopted by the community as, as family whenever they come here to play. The competition produced plenty of home runs and cheers of excitement. Whoa! all for a good cause. And as a first responder, it gives me, it gives me, um, you know, hope every day when I go to work that, you know, this community has our back. Tonight, it was truly one town, one team, and it was a home run. Covering the news in Rowan County, Jacqueline Nye, LEX 18 News. Trees and power lines down caused outages for days. If you're in Versailles, you will see things like this, the leftovers of what used to be a big tree, but it was knocked down during the storms a few weeks ago. Main Street was blocked from trees, power lines, so um, I had to walk about a half mile or so just to get back to the house. One man who lives in Versailles said a huge tree fell on his home and across his driveway that Friday night. And today, nearly a month later, the branches and trunks are still there. I've got to get that out about the same time we fix the sewer line. So it's still going to be another couple of weeks or so. The Woodford County Judge Executive says that the damage is cleared in Midway. The crews are still working in Versailles and throughout the rest of the county. Crews say they are optimistic that the cleanup for the entire county will be finished within a week. I'm actually surprised it looks as good as it does. Um, like I said, we've, they've come by and they've picked up, I don't know, three loads or so that we set out here by the street. The storm damage did not cause any problems with the kids starting school. All buses were able to get to and from safely. Covering the news in Woodford County from the LEX 18 Mobile Newsroom, back to you.